When it comes to fan games, the biggest one in demand for me would have to be Donkey Kong Country. There's been the odd hack here and there, but nothing really solid. Until now. Donkey Kong Country Trilogy began life as a sequel, but evolved over time into an incredible tribute to the original series. All the things you loved about the old games is intact, and it plays just like them so you probably know what to expect. Great level design, awesome atmosphere and top notch aesthetics, with some cool new additions. All the characters from the original trilogy are playable together for the very first time. They're all here! There's Donkey, Diddy, Dixie and Kitty, and it's cool seeing all the matchups that were usually impossible. There are brand new graphics that seem to be derived from high definition screenshots. Since the original games tended to have a more realistic look, the foreground objects blend quite well with these backgrounds. Some of the map screens are comprised of animated wallpapers and they look great, while the rendered sprites have had a nice increase in resolution, allowing them to stand out a little bit. Actually, Funky's Cabin and Wrinkly's Save School are a little bit jarring, but at least it's no Kang Fu. The effects and animations that litter the stages suit the atmosphere perfectly. I love the water effects and transparencies that are used about the place. They've even added some new animations for Donkey Kong while climbing on these ropes and being carried by squawks. The music quality and amount of tracks are staggering. When making a Donkey Kong game, you absolutely need to get that sound and atmosphere right, and they've done so here in style. The bees, though. The bees make it stop. There are a ton of levels and worlds. All of them are brand new and look great. The level design is nice. It feels consistent with the rest of the games in the series. Not an easy thing to achieve by any means. Progression is another thing the original series nailed. Seeing the consistency in its world design made adventuring all the more satisfying. In terms of content, the scope is enormous. All of the old level styles make an appearance in some way or another, from underwater levels which now feature modern breathing mechanics, to classic minecart courses. I also love the way they've spliced various elements without them feeling disparate or cobbled together. For example, World 4 is a temple that has underwater sections. And, of particular note is this level, which has you rolling on top of a barrel through an entire stage. Very ambitious. And difficult. All of the bosses have been remixed, appearing in interesting new settings that spice things up nicely. The second world features Cackle from Diddy's Conquest, this time in a boss battle rather than just chasing you on a roller coaster. What a great way to add a new dimension to these otherwise underused characters. Brilliant. The developers really got a handle on what makes these games great. Atmosphere, setting and exploration. Secrets, waiting, lost in the wild, yet hidden right under your very nose. The percent complete rating has been kept, but this time the Kong letters add to your total, along with the usual DK coins and bonus levels. These secrets are hidden all over the place and are a joy to discover. The Kongs all control okay, but I feel they have slightly more inertia when jumping and when being fired out of barrels. This has caused me problems on some occasions, but you get used to it. The big issue here is that when switching Kongs, you have to make sure you're on a flat surface with no obstacles around. Also, you've got to press the select button several times to get them to switch. This is a serious issue that needs resolving. The way the minecart handles and some of the terrain there are also in need of definite work. Hopefully these issues will be fixed in a newer version. I am so thankful for this game because I needed a new Kong to play. It's a stellar effort, especially aesthetically. You guys have done a fantastic job here. It just needs some extra polish and it'll be perfect. There's way too many Mario and Mega Man hacks out there. So let's see some more Donkey Kong Country like this, eh? Really hope you get a chance to play it because if you're a King of Kong, you can't afford to miss it. Thanks for watching.